Baby Driver is a 2017 action film written and directed by Edgar Wright. It stars Ansel Elgort as a getaway driver seeking freedom from his life of crime with his girlfriend Deborah, played by Lily James. Kevin Spacey, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx and John Berthenau appear in supporting roles. Eric Fellner and his working title film partner Tim Bevan produced Baby Driver in association with, with Big Talk Productions near a park. Sony and TriStar Pictures handled commercial distribution of the film. Baby Driver was financed through a co-production pact between TriStar and MRC and tax subsidies from the Georgia state government. Wright developed Baby Driver for over two decades. He devised the idea while in his youth and his early directing experience further shaped his ambitions for Baby Driver. Originally based in Los Angeles, Wright revised the film setting to Atlanta, integrating the city's ethos into an important storytelling device. Principal photography took place in Atlanta over four months, from February to May 2016. Production involved the planning of meticulously coordinated stunts, choreography and in-camera shooting. Critics have examined Baby Driver's subject matter in thematic studies of the film, with emphasis on its use of colour, symbolism and focus on Baby's evolving morality. Baby Driver premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival on March 11, 2017 and was released in North America and United Kingdom on June 28th. It was well received by the media for its craftsmanship and style, though the characterization and screenwriting drew occasional criticism. The National Board Review selected Baby Driver as one of the top films of the year. It earned $226 million globally, bolstered by positive word-of-mouth support and a flagging interest in blockbuster franchises. Baby Driver was nominated for numerous awards, including three Academy Awards, two BAFTA Film Awards with a win for the editing, and two Critics' Choice Awards, again with a win for editing, and a Golden Globe Award, and won several other honours, chiefly for technical achievement. The success of Baby Driver has increased due to interest in producing a sequel. The cast includes Ansel Elgort as Miles Baby, an encore criminal getaway driver with an intense passion for music. Elgort regarded the character as an innocent, Younger than his years, deep down, he said. Edgar Wright and the producers of the working title films began contemplating the lead role well before they obtained the funding for Baby Driver. Algot, John Boyanga and Logan Lerman were among the raft of potential candidates considered for star billing. Algot auditioned for the part because he found the screenplay compelling. He auditioned several times but was hired based on a taped audition where he lip-synced and danced to the Commodore's 1977 single, Easy. Wright was so impressed that the song was later added to the film's soundtrack. The writer-director explained the selection of Elgort, saying, There's an element of old soul in Ansel, and there was something I also thought connected with what I had already written. Lily James is Deborah, a waitress employed by Bo's Diner, who becomes Baby's love interest. Emma Stone was an early candidate for the role during development. Kevin Spacey as Doc, the mysterious kingpin of the Atlanta-based crime syndicate. Spacey's involvement in Baby Driver was formally announced in the press in November of 2015. John Hamm as Jason Buddy Van Horn, a laid-back Wall Street banker turned thief who was brought into the criminal underworld by a drug habit. His impulsive decisions are the result of a midlife crisis. Wright envisioned Buddy as a strong, suave, handsome character a la Steve McQueen in The Getaway in 1972 and George Clooney in Out of Sight in 1998, yet much more sinister. Ham is the only actor in Baby Driver whose character was written specifically for them, as Wright is a longtime friend and a fan of Ham's. The two men first met at Saturday Night Live after party in 2008. Ham took part in a table read several years later before Baby Driver was commissioned by the studio. Isaac Gonzalez as Monica Darling Castello, Buddy's young, vivacious wife and the only woman in Doc's heist crew. She and Buddy form an intensely intimate Bonnie and Clyde-esque pairing. Describing her as a vapid crook space cadet woman who has no attachment to reality, the actress joined the production in December 2015. Jamie Foxx as Leon Bats Jefferson III, Doc's particular sadistic, ruthless henchman who has little regard for the people in his way. Fox was a casting choice recommended to Wright, although he had reservations and felt the actor would not be enthusiastic about a supporting role. Fox was fascinated with the film's artistic direction, however, and joined the project thanks to the support of Quentin Tarantino. He modelled Bats after his longtime friend he had first met at Los Angeles Comedy Club in his youth. John Berthenau as Griffin or Griff, one of Doc's thugs responsible for the security of his heist crew. Berthenau believed criminals were too often stereotyped as incompetent in news media. Therefore, to prepare for his role, the actor consulted with real-life criminals to get a better grasp on his character and the inner workings of organised crime. He said in an interview, There are idiots who hold up a place and get caught up because they leave their wallet there. There are many mastermind criminals that all come in different shapes and sizes and different levels of intellect. I think there are people with real talent and people who take it enormously seriously and those are the kind of people I wanted to talk to. 
and CJ Jones as Joe, Baby's foster father who is deaf and a wheelchair user. Casting director Francine Maisler was tasked with hiring a suitable actor to play Joseph. Though Jones was significantly younger than the role called for, he was hired from a handful of prospective actors, most of whom were not deaf. Jones opted not to work with an on-set interpreter until later in the production. He also helped Olgott hone his own sign language with an on-set tutor. Now I remember seeing this film for the first time and being absolutely blown away about it. It was so original and I loved the use of music in time with whatever was happening on screen. This film is stylish, exciting and driven by an awesome soundtrack that proves fast-paced action movies can be smartly written and well done without relying on cheap thrills. The stunt driving is absolutely mesmerizing to witness and yes, it glamorizes in many ways being a robber and high-speed dangerous driving but in the same time this is a movie meant to be for escapism purposes. You're supposed to be taken on the thrill ride with Baby and his exploits. Ansel is absolutely great here as the enigmatic Baby and he carries his performance with some great facial expressions and just the suave sophistication without really needing to say too much. I felt Lily James also really taps into Deborah as well, and their chemistry plays out well in the movie. And what more can I say about Jamie Foxx here as Bats? He plays the arsehole character here perfectly. And of course, John Hamm is superb here as Buddy, as you've never seen John Hamm before. Here is a role that he really sinks his teeth into perfectly, and you could see he had a lot of fun playing it. Now what more can I say here about Kevin Spacey? Now this was one of the last films of course he made before the accusations and charges were brought forth. But once again I have to apply the logic of let's separate the art from the artist here. And in this role Kevin Spacey is absolutely superb. He plays an understated role here as Doc. But he adds such fine little layers and nuances to this character as he becomes the sort of father-like figure to Baby. Spacey just has a way in tapping into complex characters and he does it so well. I found the morale shift that Baby goes throughout the film absolutely fascinating. Baby's initial morale detachment manifests itself through his reliance on music, which he uses to escape the chaos of his environment and his own tinnitus. It is his only obligation to protect Deborah and Joseph and the increasing mayhem around him that forces Baby to confront his own reality. Baby Driver also plays off some of the original conventions of gangster films, most notably the heroic fatalism and uncompromising villain. Now one thing I've come to notice in a lot of Wright's films is he uses strong colour cues. Colours are used symbolically to represent personas of the core characters. For example at the beginning Baby dresses in drab colours that reflect his black and white perspective of the universe. His peers however are associated with bright vibrant colours that clash with his own sensibility. For example there's red for bats, purple and pink for darling and blue for buddy. As the story progresses and the pressures of the organised crime become overwhelming Baby's wardrobe subtly evolves as he is now seen in feigned greys and blood-stained white shirts. All in all, it's these little touches in Wright's films that makes him such a unique and groundbreaking director. Not to mention the way he intertwines the use of the soundtrack with exactly what is happening on screen as almost if it's in perfect timing. I just found this to be so original and groundbreaking from this expert and unique filmmaker. All in all, this is a visual masterpiece, groundbreaking, original, daring, and is one of those films that you can watch time and time again and always enjoy. Baby Driver gets a 9 out of 10.